Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are upgrading the Nebula camera of our Betaflight 95X version 3 to a Nebula Pro and then we are test flying it today in a little bit more windy conditions and that really unrevealed to me how good those Cinewhoops actually can fly and what we reasonably can expect from the flight characteristics a Cinewhoop and the airframe can produce for us under normal weather conditions. Let's take a look after the intro. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are upgrading the Nebula camera of the Beta 95 to a Nebula Pro and um, I did that to enhance the video quality like we all wanted to do after we saw the drawbacks of the uh, first Nebula which was uh, released. So that being done as a first part of the video, in the second part we are flying it and testing how the airframe actually performs in normal weather conditions. Today we had a little bit more wind and we will see how it performs under uh, those environments and what we really can expect how it flies. When thinking about the upgrade, I ordered the Nebula Pro in white and the body is significantly bigger than the Nebula, so the sensor size is improved and uh, that is indicating that the quality also, as we by now know, is better. Weight-wise, because the body itself is still plastic, there is no real drawback in terms of weight. So when we are comparing just weight-wise, how much drawback we have upgrading to the Nebula Pro. We can see that the original Nebula is coming in at around 4 grams and then when we are holding the Nebula Pro against that we are having 6 grams. Overall a very light camera and weight wise there's nothing to be concerned about. The upgrade is uh, pretty straightforward. Here we're having the plug which goes directly in the main board of the camera and then physically um, frame wise we just have to upgrade the bracket since the footprint of the Nebula Pro is bigger and upgrading that is also pretty simple and pretty quick uh, to do for basically any airframe you want to put the Nebula Pro in. Today we have a little bit heavier wind conditions and in defense of the Cinewhoop there were even some dust devils going on over the flying fields. So not the easiest to handle for a Cinewhoop which is actually object to be really sensitive against heavier winds. That being said, let's see how it does. So looking at the footage from the new Nebula Pro, I was actually really surprised how close it is to the Cadex Vista which feels because of the aluminum body like a much higher build quality. But the image quality itself is not that different. So it is really okay to work with the Nebula Pro. However flight wise, nothing to do with the camera, the Cinewhoop really didn't do very well in windy conditions. and. I like to fly outside and not inside or I like to fly where usually there is more wind at the beach and I really don't think that a Cinewhoop fits into my uh, hangar for any kind of purpose I can think of. 
is it's not really fun to fly for me and that is why I decided to fly and to shift my attention more to 5 inch and 4 inch long range quads and uh, light freestyle quads. When trying to land it was really difficult to hover over the mat and bring it down so it flipped over. Cinebobs are built for a certain purpose and you have to decide for yourself if in your use case you need one. For me I don't feel they're very rewarding to fly. That being said, again as always thanks guys for watching, have a great rest of the day, stay safe and see you in the next one.